Welcome to Bennett's Bike Social, and this is homeschooling. This episode, we're going to talk about engines. And don't worry, I explained this to my six-year-old son, and he got it. He now knows how an engine works. We're going to make it very simple and easy to understand. The terminology you're going to need is suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's it. Pretty simple. So let's go to my amazing drawing. We have a piston inside the engine, con rod and crank. This is essentially a cutaway of the side of the engine. First thing we need to do is suck. So we need to bring in a fuel and air mixture into this chamber. This is done, we'll have a valve here and we open this valve, which is basically like opening a gate and we're letting in fuel and air mixture. Part two, we're gonna compress it or squeeze it. So this is suck, squeeze. We now close this door and we close this door, or valves, the correct terminology, and we're gonna compress it. Once we have compressed it, we go to series three, which is bang. This is a spark plug and this creates an explosion. So we've brought in the fuel and air mixture, suck, we have squeezed it, now we create an explosion, bang. When we have that explosion, this is called the power stroke and the explosion causes the piston to come downwards. Now we need to get rid of what we've just set on fire and created the explosion with. We open this door, this gateway or valve and we get rid of the exhaust gases. So the waste gases leave this chamber via the exhaust and we go back to number one. Bring in the fuel and air mixture. Suck, squeeze it. Two, set fire to it. Explosion, three, get rid of it. Four, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. And that is what your engine is doing. And we know how many times it's doing this by your RPM, which is revolutions per minute. Easy, suck, squeeze it, set fire to it, and get rid of it. Now this is a single cylinder engine, so we just have one piston in a cylinder. If we have a twin cylinder engine, you're getting ahead of yourself, two cylinders, three cylinders and four cylinders. Now the layout of an engine has advantages and disadvantages. The terminologies you will have heard are in line, three cylinder or four cylinder, which means we have one cylinder, two cylinder, three cylinders, four cylinders in line. This is the front wheel, this is the back wheel of the bike. If we have a V-twin, we have one cylinder going this way, one cylinder going that way. Sometimes this V is narrow, sometimes it is wide. But whatever the engine configuration is, a single cylinder, a V-twin, an inline four, a triple, we are sucking it, we are squeezing it, we are creating an ignition, bang, setting fire to it, and getting rid of it. That is a four-stroke engine. There are other engines like a two-stroke. A two-stroke is essentially doing very similar, but the piston is doing the job of opening and closing the chambers. Uh, a two-stroke uses more fuel, but creates more power. There's advantages and disadvantages of that. But essentially, four-stroke engines, each piston, sucks, it squeezes, we create an explosion, we get rid of it, that turns the crank, which gives us forward motion. The valves or the gateways are controlled by the cam. When the crank turns, this is connected via a belt or a chain on the side, in the center, but essentially something from the crank is connected to the cams and the cams open and close these doors. We'll have one here and one there. Open door, let it in, squeeze it, set fire to it, open door, let it out. Engines, done. 